Okay, we have seen various ways we can generate the identifier by using various generator classes. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how we can write our own custom generator class that we can use to generate the identifiers for our tables. So let's say that I wanted to generate identifiers in the following form. Like I want to prepend each and every ID with EMP and then I put an underscore and then some random number, something of that sort. So we'll have EMP underscore some other random number. So let's see how it's done. For that purpose, all you have to do is to create a class file and then you need to implement this particular interface which is identifier generator and take a note that this is part of the package org hibernate. So if you're using this custom generator, your code may not be compatible with other ORM tools. So do keep that in mind. In fact, I think existing generators would suffice, but in rare cases, just in case if you'd like to generate your own identifier, then you can go in this way. So once you implement this interface, you're forced to provide the implementation for this method generate. And inside this method, you would have the logic, whatever the logic that you would like to give to generate your desired identifier. In my case, I'm just trying to keep things simple. I use this object random to generate a random integer. And I'm just trying to return by prepending it with this string. And inside my persistent class, this time I'm going to use this particular annotation that is part of the Hibernate package not the standard JP annotation and I'm going to provide the following parameters. The name can be anything of your choice but the strategy is going to point to this class file including the package just as you see here and then we can use this custom generator by providing this tag generated value and then you provide the name whatever you give here. That's all there is to it. Now if I run this program you would come across with one error. Let's see what it is. Can you guess what the error would be just by taking a look at this code? I'll give you three seconds. Okay, let's take a look at the output and see the exception. So let's run the program. I'm sorry, I was supposed to run the test Java file. So can you see anything in here? So here is the fix that we need to give. So what we're passing from this custom generator is a string, but what we have here is of type long. So let's change this to string as well. So same thing should get reflected here as well as here. Now let's try to run our program and this time as well we're going to come across with another exception. Can you make a guess? Alright, let me run the program. So it says the following. Any guess? Okay, I'll give you a clue. In the database we already have a table that was created with the data type as begint for the ID field, but we have now changed it to string. So what is the fix that we can give? Let me give you another clue. The fix would be inside this PostgreSQL config XML. Can you guess what the fix would be? The fix is here. I'm going to change this to create so what this would essentially do is it will delete the entire table and it would recreate. We've already taken a look at such example in our previous video. So let's run this program and this time things will go smooth hopefully. Sure enough, it has dropped the table and it has created again, but this time with the data type as var car. And as expected, you would see the identifiers using the custom generator.
So that's about it. So although I don't recommend you to use this package or Hibernate to use annotations, I just want to let you know the flexibility that Hibernate offers. Unless there is a real need with a solid reason to switch to Hibernate annotations, try not to use them. Alright, see you soon.